stereoscope is composed of two lens systems. Binocular lenses that the user looks through, and high power objective lenses for additional magnification. Two joystick controls are used to align the silicon wafer and photo mask. An XY joystick adjusts the wafer orientation vertically and horizontally. And the other joystick adjusts the rotational orientation of the wafer. Once the silicon wafer and photo mask are properly aligned, we expose with UV light for approximately 30 to 60 seconds. Remember the cameras that used to take pictures on film? Well, the process used to develop that film is very similar to the development of UV exposed photoresist in photolithography. Shown here is an actual video of an exposed wafer being treated with developer solution. Areas of the wafer that were exposed with UV light are more soluble in the developer solution and are therefore washed away. This results in an empty mold that can be filled with a material such as metal. Features of a micro device can be fabricated with a wide variety of metals by using the process known as electrodeposition. Electrodeposition is a very common process used to deposit metal onto a surface by the action of electric current. For example, it is widely utilized in the automobile industry to create alloy wheels. Shown here is the apparatus used to electroplate a metal into the patterned areas left behind after exposing and developing the wafer. The wafer is attached to the negatively charged electrode. As a result, the exposed areas of the wafer become negatively charged. Both electrodes are then submerged into the metallic salt solution, thereby creating a closed circuit. Once the electrodes are submerged in the solution, the power source is set to a desired current output and is turned on. The exposed area of the wafer carries a negative charge. And the ions of the metal salt solution carry a positive charge. The positively charged ions are attracted to the negatively charged areas of the wafer. As a result, metal is deposited into the molds, as shown here. After this first layer is completed, the process is repeated with the hinge mask to create the second layer. Once both layers are completed, the device is released from the silicon wafer. The micro device has now been completed.
This project demonstrates the use of these polyhedral containers for chemical encapsulation, remotely guided chemical release, and spatially controlled chemical reactions. Chemicals held within these containers can be released remotely, allowing for controlled drug delivery or on-site chemical reactions. Because the containers are made of metal, they can be remotely guided with a magnet. Combining these two features, chemicals can be remotely released while they are guided along a desired path. This project demonstrates the hierarchical self-assembly of complex polyhedral microcontainers, such as the dodecahedron shown here. Polyhedral microcontainers that approach a sphere are especially attractive for biomedical applications, such as drug delivery in the body. Shown here are the two-dimensional templates prior to being self-assembled. Each face of the container can have unique surface patterning. And bead encapsulation within the dodecahedral containers has been demonstrated. This project demonstrates an alternative to surface tension driven cell folding. This new strategy utilizes thin film hinges that allows self-assembly to be triggered on demand in water using relatively low temperatures. This project demonstrates mass-producible micro-grippers that can be remotely triggered by temperature or chemicals under biological conditions. These microgrippers utilize the previously mentioned thin film hinges. To demonstrate controlled remote movement, two magnets were used to guide a microgripper from one opening of a spiral tube to the other. This movie shows a microgripper being remotely moved towards a blue bead using a magnetic stylus. Once over the bead, the microgripper is triggered to close by slightly heating the solution. After capture, the microgripper with the bead is moved away using the magnet. This movie demonstrates the remote manipulation of a microgripper into a capillary tube and remote retrieval of cell mass that is dyed with red stain. The movie highlights the applicability of the microgripper to capture living cells, such as in a biopsy. A hypothetical future biomedical application for these microgrippers is controlled movement throughout the body to carry out non-invasive procedures, such as a biopsy. This project demonstrates microgrippers that can be remotely opened and closed by chemical cues.